Hello everyone, John here from HD Cinema, and today we're going to be talking about the Removeview K1 4K all-in-one camera stabilizer system. Now, I was planning on doing a complete review of the K1, um, and it just took a little while for me to get it. So I just got it the other day, and in the meantime, I've been looking on YouTube and I've seen you know half a dozen videos out there um, about the K1, and uh, there were two in particular, and I'm going to try to put the link down below where they do a great job uh, reviewing this and talk about you know 4K, 30P, um, 720, I think 240 frames per second, and they go right into you know the the screen aspect of it and the whole menu, and they they really dive into every single. You know aspect of this all the controls and whatnot um, so you know instead of doing another review um, or I would just be repeating what I, I saw I thought I would talk about um, a couple couple areas um, one in particular the all-in-one um, feature of this and and I don't think too many people have touched on it but you know it, this is something that I use um, I've been shooting commercials um, at a television station. Um, that's my full-time job for almost 30 years. And um, I also have my own video business. And this is the uh, Zion or Zhun Crane 2, and I've got the GH5 mounted on it. And uh, this thing, this thing works great. Um, but you can see, obviously, there's a pretty big, you know, size difference between the two. And am I, am I saying that um, you know the GH5 and this image quality are going to be the same? No, they're obviously not going to be the same. But um, you know, with with today's software editing systems, um, you know, and grading and whatnot, you can make something like this look look pretty good. And I think there's a you know there's a place for this. Um, might be able to even use it, you know, in some of the work that we do. I mean, we have um, the the DJI Osmo at the station. I'm just going to move this back. Um, and, you know, it's used in the news department and uh, we also use it in the commercial department. And um, it works. The The one thing, you know, it's not all in one. I mean, you have to get out your phone, you have to attach it, you have to open the app, you have to connect, and then you can, then you can start shooting. Whereas this, you know, heck, you're just, you turn it on, Boom! Screen comes on, and you know you're you're pointing and you're shooting. You know, so um, I really like that idea, that feature. Um, I mean, we for whatever reason with the Osmo that we have, um, maybe it's glitchy, maybe it's the phone we have, but there's always seems to be you know when we turn the thing on, you know, it's going to update, um, or we lose connection between the phone and the Osmo. So we've had some glitches with it where, I mean, with this, like I said, you're just turning it on and you're, you're going. So I kind of, I kind of really like that, that, uh, that feature. And I think, you know, it, it uh, definitely might work for, you know, the vloggers out there and, and the VJs out there, maybe even in, in news departments where, you know, you need to go out there and get something quick. You're turning it on and boom. And um, I know there's been a test out there between the Osmo and, uh, and the K1 as far as the onboard audio. And what I've seen is um, the, the K1 definitely performs much better. Um, you know, I'll see if I can find those as well and, and put that link. I think there was one in particular that I saw, and I'll see if I can put that down there as well. But uh, the onboard mic seemed to perform pretty well. Um, so... What I wanted to try is, you know, there is there is a uh, input here, a 3.3.5 uh, microphone input right here. What I was thinking of doing is, um, I have uh, the Sennheiser AVX wireless system here, um, you know, this receiver right here. And what I was planning on doing, um, pretty simple here, just take a, a little extender here, a little small cable, and we'll plug that in here like that. Uh, it just said external mic connected, which is cool. And you know, connect this. So now I've got the Sennheiser connected and put it in my pocket. And then I've got the, the belt 
transmitter. Lav mic, you know, just hook that up. And basically, you know, you can just go out and start shooting. Um, with this little extension cable, you know, I think you'd be fine. And even if I, uh, if I um, put it in like selfie mode here, um, you know, I'm not seeing, you're not seeing that cord at all. You're not seeing it. Um, let me just record here. So, you nope, know, you're not seeing it at all. So that's something that, you know, you can walk and talk and you can get your, your sound bite as you're walking and talking. So, and then I flip it around, you know, you can be shooting and talking at the same time, doing your voiceover if you wanted to. So I think this has some more uses. Um, I uh, will do some tests. Um, I plan on doing some tests here soon. And um, once I get those tests done, I will post another video and see, uh, you know, so you, so you guys can see and hear how well the, the audio is. I'll do a test with the internal microphone. And then I'll also do a test with the, uh, with this lav setup that I did here. So, so that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I will uh, get another video out as soon as I do this uh, audio test. Talk to you soon. See you soon.